Welcome back to the Adventures of Millie Swift and Neverwinter Nights first, uh, the, uh, what do you call it, the original campaign. Uh, we just finished talking to that rather creepy person. I think we've killed pretty much everything here. I greet you, my child. I'm just going to skip this pass because I've already talked to him and before I did the resave. Oh, well, yes. Is there something you need? We'll talk to you for a little bit. I would like to know more about you. I would ask Millie that before I tell you about myself, that you tell me something of yourself. Among my people, it is said that knowing our commands, we come to know ourselves. I, I admit that I fight only for gold, but I know nothing of your motivations. Why do you serve Neverwinter? I have seen too much death and suffering from the plague to stand idly by. You are an honorable woman, Billy. I too seek honor here in Neverwinter, though of a different sort. I came to this city to make a name for myself, Billy, to forge a legend that even the tribe of my mother would hear. Instead, I found myself guarding crates and barrels against common thugs. Yet even in the sordid world of the docks my reputation has spread, several captains asked me to join their crews. Perhaps if uh, the plague had not come the name of Dalen Red Tiger would have become legend on the high seas. Stick with me and the bards will sing your praises. Perhaps it is for the best. Had I joined a ship's crew, it is unlikely the Uthgard would ever have heard of my accomplishments. My place is here, in the north. That is the land of, this is the land of my birth, and this is where I must fulfill my destiny. I'll bring no honor to my mother's name by fleeing on the ship. Only if I stay can I hope to redeem the shame of my father's blood in my exile. Shame of your father's blood? What are you talking about? Please forgive me, Millie. I became lost in the moment. Drums of glory momentarily distracted me from the task at hand. It will not happen again. Oh, Dalen, please tell me what you are talking about. I want to hear it. Please, Millie, I, I, the things I said before, the words were, this is not the time to speak of such things. Perhaps later I will speak more of this, but not now. I would say the, the bit about his father's blood is pretty obvious. It's not as if uh, half-orcs are unheard of. Oh, look. Remains. Ooh, smuggler's coin. Silver seal. Oh, there's a Helmite. Oh, the Mastersons. Hello. The master is very attached to his things. I greet you. Ah, oh, hello there. I am Hemel Masterson. This is my wife Agnes and our manservant Morden. 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 So, Morden, is it? Morden, tell me. What do you want? Pardon? Well, what do you want? I'm not certain your reasons for asking me this, madam. What I want to serve my... to serve the master, master son. That's it. Aren't you going to ask me what I want? Why should I ever ask what you want? I suppose if, if, if such matters came up in the course of my, uh, my duty, then I would indeed ask you what you want, but I do not understand the reason. Uh, see, you see, I don't think he's actually Morden. He doesn't have the... He has a handle... He has a mustache for one thing. And he's not a, a hateable jerk. Hey! Well, it's a good thing you're not a hateable jerk. I suppose so, but my name is Morden nonetheless. Yeah, maybe. Let's see. Maybe I should drink a true scene potion to see if there are any spindly, dark bug things beside you whisper in your ear. I'm sorry, what? Well, you can never be too careful about shadows. What? 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 Never mind. I wonder by any chance. Uh, can we get back to me, my issues? Uh, I'm the I'm the uh, nobleman here. Oh, I suppose so. We'll deal with we'll deal with him. I wonder by chance if you've seen a man named Calic. Oh, we've heard about Calic a lot. He has an amulet of mine, and he uh, seems to have forgotten us. Forgotten? 
and I told you he was not to be trusted. I'm quite aware of what you said, my dear. Now, if you will let, just let me speak to this nice woman. What do you know about the docks? Oh, very little, I'm afraid. I came here, well, I came here hoping to circumvent the quarantine on Neverwinter. I arranged for transport that would leave from the docks. I traded an heirloom amulet to the man who swore he was honest. Emil, I could swear that you are competent, but that doesn't make it true. Who was this man? A strapping gent. Halleck was his name. He said he was soon to come into his own ship. Probably stealing that as well. Honestly, Himmel, you could be such a fool. But my dear, he seemed honest enough. He may yet return. He, it has only been a day. You paid with an amulet? Yeah, it was a valuable heirloom. It was a high price. But for the safety of my loved ones, I decided not to quibble. I told you it was a ruse. This Kallik made vague promises. You handed over everything. Nothing is proven, dear. Still, I would like reassurances. It was a valuable amulet, after all. Passed down by my forefathers. Others. How valuable is valuable? Well, perhaps I should say its value is primarily sentimental. It has been on our mantle for generations. Only because you are too much of a coward to take it up, Himmel. Well, I suppose the thing has some other uses too, but it's been years since Masterson stooped to dungeon delving. You realize that uh, dungeon delvers tend to keep you safe, right? Yes, well, that's not my problem. I suppose I could look into it for you. I would be most appreciative if you could. Mr. Kallik does appear to be taking an inordinate amount of time. He said he would ready a ship, but when he left, he went inland. He did drop some sort of auction notice. He probably got one already. Knowing the area as you must, it doesn't do me much good. I'm a stranger here. Please return my amulet if you find it. I've given up breaking quarantine. I just want back what's mine. I just want what's back, back, what's wrong. Okay. Oh. I got a, a chat here, just a moment, I've got an answer. Let's see. So, Kallik, we've heard Kallik. He's the lieutenant for Vango Blood Sale. There's neighbor. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. There's more bullets. Hopefully, I can get up to 99. I shall do as you sell. ask. Sell that. I already have. Yeah. Huzzah! Othgart lick lockpick wins again and you get scare and pure moderate wins. Did I already get these? I believe I did. Yep. Like a good state farm neighbor is there. Come on. There we go. It wouldn't let me burn it while Dalen was standing on it. Doo -doo -doo. More commandeering. Potion of antidote. That'll be good. Potion of identify. Really, that wasn't Morden. If it is Morden, I don't have a pike to put his head on. More's the pity. If you have a board, if you have Morden, you really need a, a pike to put his head on. That's the thing to do with a Morden problem. 
Put his head on a pike. Hello to you. Can you tell me about the seedy tavern? Oh, oh. It is a den of corruption. I would not trust the word of any who frequent there. Lies and false hope are their playground. Graciously, they keep to themselves, allowing entry to uniform members and those willing to part with their ill-gotten points. Has there any sign of a break in the plague? The wailing continues to take lies, but Dester has decreed that we brothers should not rest while the city is in crisis. If the spirit is willing, Neverwinter will survive. People must believe and have hope, so our blessings will continue. What good do your blessings do? If this plague is a spiritual one, which Dester strongly suspects, then the healing must begin with the soul. The worth of the blessings is immeasurable. Even as the wailing takes the body, the mind knows there is hope. But the body still dies. How does that give hope? Well, it's complex. Even in death, people must realize that there is a purpose to all things. You seem strong in your faith. You understand how important belief is and how reaffirming it will be when our blessings beat the plague. Goodbye. Okay. I think the last time I, I did this was probably more than five years ago, and I think I did it with a rogue. What are you doing bothering me there? Turn yourself around and walk the other way. What do you not say others do? Anything illegal? Nothing that would concern you. How about you just move along? We wouldn't want to accident. You wouldn't want to accidentally end up dead. Oh, they're easy. Proud looking ruffian in a red and blue uniform. Obviously a member of a mercenary company or a highly organized group of bandits. I've had enough of tourists. Get lost! You like your uniform. Or every pirate in a blood sailor uniform! We'll kick your tail back to the beggar's nest! Speaking of uniforms, I like your uniform. I'd like one. This isn't a social club, and we don't take just any old fool. Now get lost before you make me angry. This is blood sailor territory, at least for a day or two more. Come near the ship and you'll be killed, simple enough. I've had enough of tourists. Get lost! Or okay. I'll warn you once, we are not wandering thugs or underfed bandits. You want a blood sailor in battle? You'd better be ready. Let's have at it, blood sailor. Let's see how well you fight. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm get ready. To fight. A blood sailor uniform. Huzzah! I only need one. Okay. Uh, bolt. Healing kits! Huzzah! I like healing kits. I shall do as you ask. Okay, I might have to bring, uh, what's his name to this? A brooch. I shall do as you ask. My youth goes blood! Yeah! It is done. Ooh, that looks like it's something for him. Greenstone. I'll come back with Tommy to get those later. Hello there. I've already warned you about following me. Will you stop following me? I won't warn you again. Just trying to stay alive. Just trying. Like a good idiot, neighbor is there. the hell might. Maybe we should have sank the blood sailor ship. Yeah. 
rage of the red tiger unleashed! It is done. It is done. Oh, all that for a copper necklace. Somebody went in here. Silver Sales Trading Company, no entry, vermin infestation. <sighs> Philly, vermin infestation. Even. Okay. And a vermin infestation I means fire you beetles. Like May not rest at this time. This is where I died the first time I tried this, where I had the crash that lost the video. In this building. I can't remember what it was that killed me. I think it was a trap. Can't rest, there are enemies nearby. Can't rest, there are enemies nearby. Oh dear. Okay. I always get my way. More beetles. For the oath guard. I should take these back and sell them. Cause I'm getting they're, they're starting to fill up my inventory. There's a lot of beetles and spiders in this city. Woo! Oh, that's a door, not a bookshelf. Out. See, I know what's behind there. Success not possible. Oh, really? Even with a little bit. Oh, that's just going to give me a plus four. That's not possible. That didn't even increase my... Yeah. Right. That was annoying. I know what's behind here. A sword spider, not a bloated dire spider. That's a different kind of yeah. spider. 
Not as much poison. More stabbings. Okay, I am going to use this thing and go yes. do some selling. Is there something you need? One of the bards here in Castle Neva is composed. I believe I heard Lord Nasher himself humming the tune in the hall. Okay. Thirty-two. Getting closer. I'll keep it. Grains of sand. So are the, the days of our lives. Okay. Sell, sell some uh, alcohol to the paladin. And I don't need a chain shirt. There we go. Of the sun, so. <laughs> damage reduction plus one soak five damage. Okay, I don't need know for sure what that means. Armor of Comfort. Bonus to heal, reduction of weight. More robes of the Shining Hand, which I already have. That is ridiculously expensive, but it would be very useful. Nothing that I really need. Nothing that I really need. What am I wearing? Amulet of Will. Oh, you know I have enough? There we go. Wow, lots and lots of fire beetle belly. Okay, that was my timer, so save. And we're going to do one more video tonight.